Time now for another vlog. And May 2022 is uh, done. It's gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. It went really quick, though. It did. And uh, we are almost at the halfway mark of 2022. And it's going to get really, really hot and humid in the south. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know why I still live here. Like, I, I was born in East Texas, and both sides of my front family are from Northwest Louisiana, so I consider Texas and Louisiana my home, and basically the South, but I've never cared for the heat or the humidity of this place. Right. I mean, I like it here for the one year I've been here. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. So, I'm here. Go Burns. Hello. And Riley Black Fox is here as well. Hello. And welcome to, once again, another installment of our monthly vlog. Riley, what are you doing right now while we play? Um, uh, I'm flying to Dark Star in, in the uh, mission. Yeah, and Microsoft Flight Simulator with the new Top Gun Maverick expansion. Yes. And you attempted to do this mission during your stream a couple of days ago, but it didn't end so well. Yeah, no, I, I failed. I think I read the instructions a little bit too late and I kind of destroyed the plane. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Yeah. Well, it was, I think you blamed the live chat. Yeah, I was looking at a live chat, then I went down, and I, the plane just caught on fire and died. Yeah. Toss, Off screen, of Toss your faithful viewers and subscribers under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, free uh, Maverick expansion finally came out for Flight Sim. It also has a new library for the F-18. And some pretty cool uh, trial runs you can do with the F-18, like low, low, low. Yeah, low altitude. Uh... Uh, trials and Attempt basically you just try to do it as fast as possible while taking like the most dangerous uh what is it tracks yeah maneuvers maneuvers yeah. yes there you go because there's like terrain you have to like be, be as close to the ground as possible yeah you just can't go like all the way up and then just keep going straight no. i mean you could but you'll fail no and uh, the uh best one is trying to land on an aircraft carrier oh that one took forever i still have c rank on it yeah because there's A rank, B rank, and C rank. You came close to B rank at one time. But it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, it, it does. And uh, it took me, what, like like seven, eight attempts to actually land it? Yeah, before you the, got the your first time? Yeah, before you got your first landing. Yeah, it took forever. It wasn't easy, like at all. Yeah, but you were starting to get the hang of it, but then somebody in chat mentioned you were doing it wrong and you had to do it a different way. And then you start doing it that way. Once you got the hang of it, that started getting you a higher score. So it's kind of weird how it actually works. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I mean, it's it's a cool free expansion for Flight Sim. It's just one of those games we both enjoy playing. I do it a lot off stream just for like flying around, just goofing off and getting some B-roll for my uh, GB Fang channel. And sometimes I use it for the gaming channel. But you also like to stream it over on your channel. Right. And we love using it, obviously, for our, our vlogs channel. I think we've grown accustomed to being in Flight Sim for the vlogs. At first, it was GTA Online, but I think we've gotten a little tired of GTA Online. <laughs> yeah, we did. It's so boring. Yeah. At the moment, yeah. It's so boring. Yeah. And uh, I, did, I can't play it. I can't play it. It gets too boring. Yeah, it does. And the cool thing about Flight Sim, as most of you know, you know, it's the whole world, right? It's the whole world. We can... Like, for one vlog, we can fly around Italy, or we can fly around Montana, or we can fly around any other part of the world we want to. And so it can always be a little different. And we have a variety of aircraft to choose from for each vlog. Yeah. I guess the problem is, is with GTA is that it's still the same world. Like, nine years later, they've added Kyle Perico, but you can't fly in it, technically. No. Or do something with it. Even if we could, it's, like, very small. Yeah. And... It's just the same world. They don't update the world. Nine years and it's still the same. And it feels the same. Like, even if you try, like, with all the content they added, with all the new cars, all the new planes, like, over the years, like, the game feels the same. It does. So, like, I just don't like it. It, it feels too boring. And what are your thoughts on it? Because for me, well, I agree. it's boring. And it's I, boring. I've been playing uh, GT Online since it launched back in October 2013. And... There's definitely been some great moments, but there's also some things about Rockstar Games we've grown to despise. But when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's amazing because you have the whole world that you can fly around in. Yep. And they are updating parts of the world. Like most recently, they updated Italy and Malta, 
And before that, I think they updated Spain and I think Australia, various other regions of the world. And there's a lot of aircraft to choose from. Of course, the aircraft costs money, real life money. So it can be a, a bit expensive, but at the same time, with this uh, new jet, which is courtesy of the Top Gun Maverick uh, update, yeah, update, it's going to allow us to go actually uh, to the upper stratosphere. Yeah. And so that's what Riley's doing right now throughout that's this what I'm portion. To do. Yeah, throughout this portion of the vlog. So we'll see how it goes. But speaking of Top Gun, we got the Top Gun Maverick movie doing really, really well right now at the box office. Yeah, uh, we've still yet to see it. Yeah, we will soon, but uh, yeah, we've been just kind of busy and yeah. stuff heading our way. So we need to do it around the house and videos and live streams and stuff like that. You know, just busy, busy stuff. Yeah, it's just too much real life stuff going on, but we're definitely going to go see it. We were going to watch it tomorrow, but um, I'll talk about why we're not going to go watch it tomorrow in a minute. But one thing I did notice about the Dark Star, if you, if you look over here, like at the uh, the outline of the Dark Star and the, on the computer, what does it look like? <laughs> the SR seventy one Blackbird. No, I wasn't thinking that. What? what? It looks like a Star Destroyer. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I don't see. at least like a Venator class Star Destroyer. See, I'll try to zoom it in on in this moment in the uh, okay. Vlog. I, I I guess I do the little pointy thing. The maybe, triangle, see? But, it, but yeah, that's look, it. Like, from, from the Clone Wars, it kind of resembles it, kind of, sorta. But that's that's what I just thought about off the top of my head. <laughs> just random thoughts with GB, right? Wow. So when we finally get around to watching Top Gun Maverick, Riley and I are actually going to do a review of Top Gun Maverick on GB Fang, which is my other channel. I know I got two main channels now. And it does leave you a bit burned out when you're trying to make content for all of them. So I've been doing TV show movie reviews over on GB Fang. Speaking of Star Wars, I do have the uh, part one, part two review of Obi-Wan Kenobi up. If you're interested, feel free and check it out. I intend to review each and every part that comes out. I think part three is actually going to debut on Disney Plus Wednesday, I believe. So look for that review to come up sometime later this week over on GB Fang, there along with uh, our Top Gun Maverick review. So we will be doing that, absolutely. But first, we may go back and rewatch the original Top Gun. So maybe we'll do that tonight. Maybe. maybe. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But another movie at the beginning of the month that we went to go see that I also did a review on over on GB Fang that you have yet to share your thoughts on is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I know it was nearly a month ago, but... What's your honest opinion about it? Uh, well, I liked it. It was very entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very fast paced. Mm -hmm. So if you miss something, you're gonna have to see the movie again or just look it up on YouTube because you'll miss it. Yeah. But uh, it was very fast paced. Uh, lots of multiverse action. I did like like all the multiverse. Like, there's a cartoon one. There's like a super futuristic one. There's multiple ones. Yeah. Uh, Scarlet V. a villain. Eh. Uh, it works, I guess, if mm -hmm. done right. But did, uh, with with this movie, it's like 50-50. It's like sometimes, yeah, I mean, she's a villain, but sometimes, like, really? Like, that's her motivation? What is that? Anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh. So we're almost at the top of uh, the world. Yeah. <laughs> So, sorry about interrupting you. Continue. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, what else? Where was I? Uh, yeah, Scarlet Witch being a villain. 50-50. Uh, what else? Uh, what, what is the name of the girl again? America? America? America Chavez. Yeah, she's okay. Well. She's alright. Uh, Doctor Strange being the main highlight, obviously, is his movie. I liked them. Yeah, it was about 50-50 between him and uh, Scarlet Witch. And I guess you could throw in uh, America Chavez as well, taking up a little bit of the screen time. And of course, Wong. Wong is awesome. Yeah, Wong but is awesome. But for, for a second, I thought they were going to kill him off. Boo. No, no. Unacceptable. Yeah. It, but If he does die, he has to die in a really awesome, like, heroic, like, no choice, the only way to save the world or the multiverse. Yeah. Uh, but, but hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. But the way that he was thrown off, it did see it did seem like he was killed. Nah. No, we but, didn't actually see him hit the ground or see his body on the ground like with Black Widow in, uh, what, at the end of Infinity War? Yeah. I know that's a spoiler, but Avengers Infinity War is a few years old, okay? 
So don't complain to me that you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't get this to go full scramjet. Well, we'll try to get it to go full scramjet soon. We're we're pretty high up already though, but we're not in we're not all the way up yet. Like, like I'm pulling it up and it's dropping. Uh yeah, I don't know. I, I will I think it I think it took a quick minute when you did it during your stream. So. Yeah, the the thing is is that I need to look at this because Okay, see, okay, okay. Anyways. Because otherwise see I can't see this. Yeah, so we do we will try to have exterior shots. But the reason why you see a lot of interior shots is because Riley's having to focus on the instruments. So yeah, uh, hopefully you'll understand. It does look kind of boring just sitting there looking at the interior of the cockpit. Yes. Yeah, oh my! It's literally falling to its depth. Okay. It just oh come well, on. Come on, you can get it back up. No, I'm trying. Like literally, I'm pulling it up. Okay. It's well, falling down. Well, this this is not going so well. But let's just hope that you're able to get get a course correction so. it's literally falling well <laughs> even the engines are turned on like the engines are back at 100 percent. like i don't know what's going on here i don't know uh, i guess go back into the cockpit or something see what i can do okay uh, but anyways uh anything else you'd like to say about dr strange about the horse of madness how would you compare it to the first dr strange i think see it's tough it's really tough because i like i really do like the first one but I guess I'm gonna have to go for the second one, entertainment wise. Okay. I guess in terms of story, of how Doctor Strange actually becomes Doctor Strange, the first one's better, mm. and see what type of person he is. Because yeah. in the second one, you're you're supposed to know what type of person he is already. Yeah, because it's established in not only Doctor Strange but also the Avengers: Infinity War, Endgame, as well as yeah, he was in a bunch of other movies. Yeah, Spider Man: No Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah. I, I think he was in. Was he in Far From Home? I don't think he was. No, he wasn't. Anyways, uh, Doctor Strange: uh, Multiverse of Madness. I think still is a very good movie. I think it's still a very good movie. I pretty much give it like a seven, eight out of ten. It's all right. It's a good movie. It did entertain me, and it was well, it didn't bore me to death. That's pretty impressive. I mean, I mean, I, I don't think I was as kind to it. I think I put it somewhere in the middle. I put it at. I think I put No Way Home above it. And oh, we're going up again. Let's see. I think I put it above. Did I put it on above, above Uncharted? I don't remember if I mentioned Uncharted. Uh, what else did I mentioned? I, I know I mentioned uh, Morbius, but I did make a terrible mistake. I underestimated how awesome Morbius is. Yeah. And, and yet, it's easily a thousand out of ten movie. Yeah, no. Uh, you might have to change the title of this blog to just Morbius. Yeah, it's, it's Morbin time. I can't control it. It's pulling all the way up. Well, at least it's going up now, and it's it's kind of... <laughs> What's uh, it doing? <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> I can't, uh, we're literally stalling. Yeah. And there we go. It looks like... I don't know if you ever watched Beetlejuice, but the front of it looks kind of like what... The Maitlands look like whenever they they change their faces in yeah. one scene, but anyways, that's just a, a reference. So, yeah, the uh, Dark Stars out of control, just like the uh, vlog. And well, I hate it whenever this happens because I try to time. I don't like to time things out because sometimes the video screws up yeah. with the audio. We're recording both at the same time. So, anyways, just ignore the the nonsense that's going on. It does look kind of cool. Where this? It does. It looks like mars yeah but yeah the dark star it's like acting really weird because i want to pull it up and it goes down yeah. and then i pull it up a slight second and it starts going all the way up to the sky yeah and i'm trying like i, I was well, literally doing all that the instruction was telling me but like it started to take a mind of its own i don't know what i don't know what we're doing here maybe maybe it was a bad idea to try to do this in the vlog at the same time <laughs> yeah maybe we should have just taken the regular f18 with the maverick livery I mean, worst case scenario, you may see a pause in the vlog and we may just switch over to the F-18. But anyways, uh, so any final thoughts regarding Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness before we move on? Uh, or crash to our death? Oh, crash to our death. Come on, pull up. <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing. Yeah, it's a good movie. I recommend seeing it, honestly. Yeah, I thought it was okay. But I, I did do a review of Doctor Strange and Multiverse I guess I did like it more than you. You probably did. You probably did. I, I can sometimes be a bit too critical yeah there's just some things that i was like eh, they could have i feel like it was a very ambitious idea like the, the whole multiverse and i feel like there were things that just didn't work so well together 
but it, the, the it thing wasn't. about multiverses is that you gotta do it right because it's like a back to the future thing yeah where if you fuck up one thing like it screws up everything yeah so that's true but i i think while it's far from the best of the mcu movies it's also far from the worst i put it somewhere in the middle but it was sam raimi so i do love sam raimi yeah well, and, so what would you consider like the worst mcu movie probably captain marvel captain marvel yeah yeah okay. yeah or black widow uh, I haven't seen Black Widow, but I heard it was wasn't very good. Yeah, they're 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 both trash. Yeah, and I've seen I've seen too much of uh, Captain Marvel. <laughs> I just I saw enough to realize like this this was awful. Wow. But I mean, there, there's definitely MCU films that aren't as good, but then there's some that rise to the occasion that are pretty awesome. And everyone has a different opinion on it because some people may think Captain Mar- Marvel's the best one, or Black Widow's the best one. Or some people may think that the the new Doctor Strange is the best one. It's really entirely up to what uh, the individual thinks. Because at the end of the day, even the most professional reviewers are themselves people. They're not gods. They're not all-knowing. And they're not always right. And you're not always going to agree with them. Now, sometimes you will. Especially when you find ones you like. For example, Critical Drinker. But it doesn't mean we're always going to agree with his opinion. Because yeah. it's his opinion. Yeah. And then you have like... what. Harry does it with episodes. Oh, yeah. Harry, uh, Harry's Moving Media, he does a lot of Doctor Who reviews that we enjoy. But there are times when he'll... Like, he was very much uh, negative on Hell Bent, right? He was very critical of, he- of Hell Bent, and he, he loved uh, Heaven Sent, but most people feel the opposite. Most people love Hell Bent and don't really care for Heaven Sent as much. Okay, well, apparently the dark star is acting weird. I have to read the bottom because he switched. Uh, and it, it's dead. <laughs> Rip. What the hell was it? What is this? Uh, oh, my God. Okay, okay. Let's just let's just go jump in the F-18. <laughs> yeah, let, let's go do that. And we are back with the vlog. This time we're in the uh, F-18 again. And uh, we're in Rapid City, South Dakota. So, yay, we're moved over to South Dakota. That's where the Dark Star crash landed. Probably not, but... <laughs> yeah, that didn't go so well. We were attempting to, I guess, kill two birds with one stone. Have Riley finally get through her Dark Star uh, mission while recording a vlog. But I think that it's a lot easier to do it with the Thrustmaster than the yeah, controller. Yeah, it, it definitely was better. Another reason why I'm glad I got the Thrustmaster for us. We don't use it as much, but... During the vlog, it's a lot easier just to use a controller because we'd have to set up the, the joystick, the throttle, the pedals. And there's a lot on the table. And exactly. Plus, there's two of us here. So, yeah. Because it's it's it gets a little crowded. It does. It does. So, eventually, you'll when, you, when you're in the mood, right, one day, when she's in the mood, maybe she'll stream it and she'll try to get uh, at least a B rating on the aircraft carrier landing, A ratings on the, the other ones, the other, like, low altitude tests and maybe even try to complete the dark star one day on her channel maybe or maybe not okay so let's move on from i guess uh, dr strange to uh, star wars obi-wan kenobi parts one and two like i mentioned already over on gb fang i gave you all my review about it and i guess try to be spoiler free as possible what is your honest impression of uh, obi-wan kenobi parts one and two so far it's See, it's tough because we're kind of do spoilers. Okay, so when it comes to uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, I mean, you can just say the basic stuff okay. that most people already know about. Okay, well, he's all right. Like he, he he doesn't seem to be doing too good. You can see by his face and his outfit, and obviously he's trying to blend in because of Episode Three. Yeah, but like, uh, then then let, let's go to the character. Can we go to the characters? Besides Obi Wan, yeah. As long as you don't spoil anything too much, okay. I guess you can say if you like the character or you don't like. Okay, the character. so we have Obi Wan. Obviously, we will like him. Mm-hmm. He's it, like, what's his name? Ewan McGregor. Yeah, Ewan like, McGregor. Ewan yeah. McGregor. He's a great actor. Like I've always loved him in in Episode Two and Three. He was in Episode One, right? Yeah, he's One, Two, and Three. Okay, so yeah, I always loved him, and uh, then he will always do a good job because he, he's Ewan McGregor. So I, I'm just expecting the best from him. Yeah. Now you have the villains. 
And the villains are mixed for me. The Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor. We don't want to say their names, right? We're... No, you can say the Grand Inquisitor because the Grand Inquisitor was in Star Wars Rebels. Okay, so the Grand Inquisitor and then the other two. Yeah, we can mention them as well because Fifth Brother was also in Star Wars Rebels. Okay, and wow. We can mention the, the, the new, new villain because they're also an Inquisitor, but we, we won't go into too much detail about the, the other Inquisitor, but... It's kind of a popular topic right now on uh, Twitter and social media, the third sister, which is kind of the main villain at the moment. You have Vader, obviously, going to be a, a villain, I guess. The main, main yeah. villain. Because obviously Vader's going to be involved. That's something that Lucasfilm already made us fully aware of prior to releasing Obi-Wan. So there is going to be some Vader action. I don't know how that's going to play out. I don't know if there's going to be some retconning or continuity errors between... What happens in Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, parts three through six and A New Hope, but we'll just have to wait and see. Right. But anyways, yeah. Uh, then you have uh, a few unlikable characters. There's a few unlikable characters in the show, honestly, from what I've seen. Yeah. And, well, I guess I'm going to mention the names. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but I'm going to mention the names. Like, for example, like the uh, the new, new villain. Yeah. Eh. Not a... You're not a fan not of Third a fan. Sister. No, uh, okay. she's very unlikable. And yeah. not unlikable in a good way. Like, you know, like you're supposed to hate like Vader and, yeah, and Dark Maul. Yeah. Yeah. No, but this character is like, well, fuck you. You know, I don't like you. Go away. It's like, you know, Vader, you want to see them because they kill and they're awesome. They have this, this villain villain attitude. This one is like, just pissed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I don't like her. And... The episodes were mixed, in my opinion, especially episode two. It was 50-50. It was, like, entertaining and boring at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just my opinion. I don't want to get too much on it because when I discuss something, I do get very spoiled. Yeah, right, so. it, we, are, we are going into dangerous territory because we're trying not to spoil anything else from Obi-Wan Kenobi, the miniseries on Disney+. Plus. Because some of you may have not seen it yet and may want to see it, but you don't have Disney+. Plus. But a lot of people right now are not really fans of uh, the third sister. And for the record, as I stated in my review, I have nothing against any of the actors or actresses involved playing these characters in Obi-Wan Kenobi or any of these other movies or TV shows that we happen to critique. However, Star Wars official Twitter is basically coming out accusing anyone that's critical of third sister of being racist. Now, yes, are there racists that are probably saying racist stuff, hate speech towards the actress in question? Unfortunately, yes. And I condemn hate. I condemn racism. But the majority of criticism that she and Star Wars and Lucasfilm are getting are because of the character and the way the character is written. Yeah, it's not because of the actress. Obviously, the actress is trying to do her best. But... I just, I don't like it. I don't like it when people blame, like, the actual actress instead of, like, the character. Yeah. Because it's just not fair. Yeah. And, yeah, that's just my opinion on it. Well, it's just like with uh, Kelly Marie Tran, who played Rose. In, oh, yeah. Yeah, t yeah Rose in, uh... uh yeah, yeah in Last Jedi. Yeah, that movie, The Expectations Subverted by Ryan Johnson. I don't blame her for her character. I blame Ryan Johnson for terrible writing and for a lot of other issues that I had with that movie. Yeah, but people will like people like to pull the race card. That's just yeah, and nowadays. I think I think unfortunately Star Wars is pulling it, and so is the actress now. And yes, she can. I wish they would just come out and say, look, most of the criticism has been just criticism, but unfortunately, some of the criticism has been racist. But it, the way that Star Wars is pushing the narrative is that every criticism she gets is racist oriented and themed and. I don't think that's true because I've read through the tweets and yeah, I'll come across a couple that are spicy and racist, unfortunately, but the majority are just basically critiquing the character itself and certain decisions the, the writers have made when it comes to parts one and two. There's a very real possibility that her character's fleshed out more in three, four, five, and six. And by the end of this miniseries, you know, she may be... A better character for it so maybe there should be some patience on our end when it comes to third sister yeah but, i guess what i really do want to see from her is like a 
little mini origin story or something because yeah and, right now and we like, could very well get that yeah because right now like she's the way she is because the writers just wrote her that way and uh like we don't know anything about her we don't know why she's like this yeah you know stuff like again dangerous spoiler territory yeah but... that's the problem we we can go further <laughs> but we're trying not to there's just things that happen in parts one and two that really make you go like really Seriously, this in normal circumstances, if, if it would have been any other Inquisitor, then, anyways, I think that we've Again, covered this yeah, subject, okay. subject See, enough. that's the whole problem with trying to hold spoilers. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard, but so far, I, I think it's a mixed bag, parts one and two. What do you think? Mixed bag, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Will we recommend this to you? I say just wait. Wait till all six Yeah, wait till all six episodes are out. Then binge it. Then binge it. Yeah, then cancel yeah. it. <laughs> Didn't count exactly, or we'll even tell you. Yeah, this show fucking blows. Don't watch it. Yeah, like until the end, we'll let you know. Well, it's my intention to continue reviewing it over on uh, GB Fang, and if Riley wants to join me, if there's like a part that really just grinds your gears, we can spoil it here, right? Yeah, we can spoil it. Okay, okay. then yeah, because well, I want to do a little bit of talking. Yeah. Okay, but it, it just depends on her mood. If we watch say part three and something happens that she just really wants to say something about. She may jump into my review and just throw in her, her two cents. Yeah, because, uh, <laughs> see, that's the whole problem with it. Because I am I want to say a lot of stuff, but I can't. Because yeah, I know. We're trying just, to be considerate. Of... A just-in-case scenario. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, con- yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll just discuss it on your channel. On GB Fang, yeah, the other channel. My non-gaming channel, even though I do use gaming B-roll. <laughs> hey, it's B-roll. You know, Optimus does it, and mostly he covers non-gaming topics. He covers everything. Yeah, he covers everything. It. But anyways, yeah, I hope that Obi-Wan Kenobi gets better and maybe before it's over, like I said, maybe it'll all connect better and whatever's potential retconning will be resolved. I, I hope that's the case. They're all being directed by Deborah Chow, which did direct some pretty good episodes of Mandalorian. And she has come out talking about how she wants to respect the current Star Wars canon, which is not only the prequels, the trilogy, unfortunately the sequel trilogy. I don't count those as canon. Yeah, me either, but... They, she's also including all the TV shows, which includes Clone Wars and Rebels. So hopefully it'll it'll all fit. Yeah. Hopefully. But my own concern is the fact that A, Kathleen Kennedy's still in charge of Lucasfilm, and B, she talked about how what's going to happen in Obi-Wan Kenobi between Vader and Kenobi, because it, that was already established way before this came out. This is like a year ago, at least, when she said this at a previous Star Wars convention, that what's going to happen between Vader and Obi-Wan is the rematch of the century. That alone is concerning. Yeah, we'll see what they do. Yeah. Because it could be like a like a five-minute fight and then yeah. Obi-Wan retreats or something. Yeah, it's, it's speculation right now because it, it obviously hasn't occurred yet. So it's not really a spoiler because it hasn't occurred because we've only seen parts one and two. But I don't know. I just have mixed feelings about that as well because... In A New Hope, it's alluded to the fact that they hadn't seen each other since the end of Episode 3 on Mustafar when Obi-Wan left Vader, you know, for that. chopped up, kind of burnt up a little bit. Yeah. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. Uh, another show we're excited for is Season 2 of Bad Batch. They teased that the other day. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks awesome. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Like the animation, it's Clone Wars yeah. style, so... I, I like I love that style. Yeah, but they're putting out a lot of other shows. They got um, was it uh, Andor? Don't care. Yeah, they also are coming out with Skeleton Crew, which is kind of weird. It's gonna involve who's that again? Uh, it's gonna have Jude Law in it. It's gonna involve some kids on the starship. Who's Jude Law? Uh, he's a famous actor, but oh no, but who who's the Skeleton Crew? Is he, is this Star Wars? Yeah, Star Wars Skeleton Crew. Uh, they're going to do some Tales of the Jedi, and they're going to do another season of Star Wars Visions. We haven't seen the first season of Visions yet, but... Are there they, any movies coming out for Star Wars? Um, yeah, uh, Watiti is supposed to be working on a Star Wars movie. Okay. But, I mean, I'm, I'm curious about how Love and Thunder is going to be. I'm, I, I did like Ragnarok, okay? They did a great job of Ragnarok. But I'm also concerned with, with what ends up be, being Love and Thunder. I just... You see, the more I think about it, the less I care. Yeah. It's like I don't care about... I mean, I love four, but yeah. it's just like the story that they're presenting right now is like... He's coming across yeah. as kind of a simp in the trailers. Yeah. And that, that, that worries me a little. I'm like, really, Thor? 
Really? Yeah, I don't see four asking. He, 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 he's simping over Jane Foster. Look, look, I had a thing for Natalie Portman back in the day when I was a kid because we're the same age, so it, that's perfectly acceptable. But like, I don't know. I mean, some people are making fun of her arms, saying that they're not actually legit. That it was like CGI or something. Or I don't know. Maybe Mally Portman did, to her credit, hit the gym. I have no idea. But either way, I, I hope that uh, Thor, you know, Love and Thunder is a great movie that almost everybody goes and enjoys, just like Ragnarok. And hopefully, whatever Watiti has planned for the Star Wars movie he's going to work on, hopefully it's good. But at the moment, it appears that their focus is content for Disney+. Plus. Like, they're getting away mm. from movies. And I guess after the sequel trilogy and Solo... Uh, I, I, that might be the best move, especially if they leave, you know, Favreau and Filoni in charge of the Disney Plus Star Wars. But I think there's so many projects in the works right now that they can't be in charge of all of them. So you have some projects under Filoni and Favreau, like Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, but then you have some of these other ones which aren't, which kind of concerns me just a little. But anyway, so I guess that's enough Star Wars talk, unless there's anything else you want to add. If uh, Jedi Survivor was announced. Oh, yeah, Jedi Survivor, right? The sequel to uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I did cover that a few days ago on the channel because, obviously, huge Star Wars fan. And I enjoyed playing through Jedi Fallen Order. I hope one day you'll play it. It's really good. It's definitely worth playing. Yeah, just like how you told me to play Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. By the way, I'm still playing through Zelda, okay? So real quick mention... I'm going to continue playing through Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know when I'm going to get back to Hyrule, but I'm going to casually continue playing through it because obviously I'm excited for the sequel to Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know what it's going to be called. Right now it's just called Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. I'll probably cover it whenever it's officially, like the new titles announced and official release date in 2023. But I will cover that and I will play it whenever it comes out. But while we're patiently waiting for uh, the sequel, I'm going to slowly but surely play through casually Zelda Breath of the Wild. Eventually, I'll finish Zelda Breath of the Wild. But I may also shift gears and play something else on Saturday, like Spider-Man, because a lot of people wouldn't want me to play Spider-Man, but we'll, we'll see. Hmm. And also, we still are going to play you know, GT Online and Red Dead Online if and when those We'll games, see, because If right they now, get updates. Yeah, especially Red Dead Online, because yeah. right now, I jumped into Red Dead Online. I couldn't even last like five minutes. I got bored and I head off. Yeah. It's so boring. Yeah. And GT Online, well, the problem with GT Online, even though they release all this content, is that it still feels and plays the same. Yeah. That's the problem. Like, you don't see anybody using any of the new stuff. Everybody's still using the Hydra, Laser, Oppressor, Mark II, Ghost Organization. It's yeah. like, it's the same. It's like, nothing well, new. the only reason why we've been playing GT Online is, well, two reasons. One is because the Vespucci job remix last week, we played for like a couple hours and we haven't went, gone back. They yeah. were okay. Because we already played all of them. That's the problem. There's no reason to play them again. Yeah, and we, we had a good time, you know. With, it was you, me, and uh, Kane, and Fire, Exo, Brad. We had fun, but the replayability, you know. It only lasts so much. Yeah. But the other reason is, you know, whenever we happen to jump on with some of our new friends. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, who is it? Uh, Mark? Mark, yes. uh, We have Mark Vinge. Vinge. Uh, pro. Pro. Yeah, okay. And uh, who so, else was in there? Louie. Uh, uh, Trio. Yeah. Carlos is still on Carlos. PS4, so he can't. He, yeah, we can't play with him, but, but we can talk with him. Well, yeah, but what Professional does is he'll screen share of Carlos. And yeah. so Carlos is at least able to see what's happening when we're playing bikers and doing oh, biker yeah. stuff. It's been a while, though. Because Professional loves being a biker. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> It, it's been a while though. Like I think Pro has been busy with Sniper Elite. Yeah, he's focusing on Sniper Elite. Five he, he's right doing now. his own projects and uh, you yeah, know, I don't blame. I'll, him. I'll let him do that. The reason I only play with them like on GTA is because it gives me something to yeah, do on GTA. And they're GTA. fun to hang out with. And they're fun to hang out with. Yeah. So I'll jump in on GTA and you know, GTA is more like the afterthought and hanging out with Dan is like the main thing. Yeah. And I love how Pro's always giving his advice to us. Like, hey, you guys should just put one microphone in the middle of the room so you both can talk. Yeah, we should do like we should. Uh, hey, we're doing that right now. I, I guess we, I guess we could, we could set up. We could like whenever we play a pro, we could do something similar to the vlog and set up your PS5 on one monitor and mine on another monitor side by side. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but one, one day we'll do it as a joke. But most of the time, you know, we're on different corners of the office, and that's whenever you're streaming or I'm streaming and we're playing together. One of us has to have the mic muted because it causes this echo that's yeah. really annoying and very un unless we're playing well. 
Cons- we're off doing stream. it. Yeah, off stream. Yeah, but we've been doing it with like Kane and Red on Fortnite. But that's off stream though. I know, but since we're not playing with, you know, when we're playing with Pro, it's usually off stream too. Yeah, true. So I, I guess he doesn't mind. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. And I, what I do, what I'll try to do, and I know this is this is something some of you cannot imagine, is I try to talk quietly. Like whenever I'm saying something, I just try to ASMR it. A- ASMR us right now by the mic. So I try to talk really quiet. So that I don't echo too bad, so that whoever's playing with us in the party chat, whether it's uh, Kane, Red, or you know someone else entirely, you know doesn't hear me echoing back from Riley's mic as well. So I, I do try that. Doesn't always work. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you're gonna have to practice your ASMR a little bit. That, oh, that's not okay. like that's not a like normal person talk. Okay, well, I mean, I, I just try to be... I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just... You, you have to sound like this with a little bit of, like, oh. Bob Ross. Okay. A little bit of splash and yellow. You know, what? cloudy blue and the trees, little trappy trees. What are we doing? You, you, that, that's how you do it. Okay, well... That's I'll, ASMR. Okay, well, the point is I try to... Whenever I'm interacting and my mic's unmuted and her mic's unmuted and we're in the same party chat off stream, I try not to talk as loud so that the echo is not as bad. So that at least... Everyone else can hear me without me having to yell halfway across the room. Plus, there are times when you can't even hear me because you have your headphones on. Yeah, and... so you're talking a little bit too long since I have yeah. both my ears covered. Well, but at the same time, like, Kane and Red might be talking at the same time, so I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. That, and the game. That happens, too. <laughs> and the game combined. So you can see how sometimes hearing you could be a little bit difficult. Yeah. Just so that's little. why I have, like, look, if I'm doing a live stream here, put on the mic. One headphone for Head and Kane, the mic to speak, and the other ear just for GB. Yeah. There you go. It yeah. works. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it works. If we ever move and get a new house, we're going to make sure we each have a separate room. Yes. Not not because we don't love spending time together, because we do. It's just that, you know, for our own, like, I guess, purposes of our content and our streams, it would make more sense for us to be able to at least hear each other, interact with each other, along with everybody else in, the, in like either a Discord voice chat or a PlayStation party chat during streams without having to yell in the background. <laughs> yeah. It's still funny, though, when we do it. It, it is funny. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm loud enough to where everyone else can still hear me, including the viewers on your uh, channel. Yeah. The idea is you're the only one that can't hear me for some reason. So sad. <laughs> but, yeah. Excuse me, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, I can't hear you. But, yeah, it's just it's hard just wanting to go back to GTA Online. I mean, I've been playing since launch. You know, that's over eight years. And I know you haven't been playing as long, but even you're burnt out and many others are. I guess the point. problem is, is that we've experienced everything and there's nothing to go for. No. Because we, how much do you have? You have like 80 million? Uh, I have 80 million on my PS5 Wolfstein account. Exactly. You have 80 million with nothing to buy because you have, you have everything you want. You don't have all the businesses, but yeah. the reason you don't have all the businesses is because you don't care about them. And in some ways, you played them because you played them with me. Well, I've, I've gotten the businesses previously on Xbox with Janine, so it's kind of like been there, done that. Uh, yeah, so Not, doing it again is boring. Exactly. There's some things you come to realize that you know, you're know you kind of into, but then other things you're not into, you really don't want to have to go buy the warehouses again or this again. You'd rather just earn money a different way, like uh, grinding Cayo Preco. <laughs> yeah, fuck. That's just it's so boring. Like, I know, but it's easy. <laughs> It is easy, but how do people do it? It's so boring. Money, that's how. The motivation of money. Yeah, but yeah, I can understand why like pros focusing on Sniper Elite Five right now, and other friends are just like we have a whole lot of friends right now that I'm I'm calling Rockstar refugees in Fortnite because a lot of us are playing Fortnite zero build. Yeah, like usually Fortnite normal build week. I can't stand it. I hate Fortnite build because you know. You, you, you all know the drill. You all shoot somebody, yeah. and they'll build literally the Empire State Building in like five seconds. Yeah. I don't have time for that, you know? It's like, I just want to shooty shoot, okay? <laughs> shooty shoot. Okay, so just get into a position, shoot, and there you go. Yeah. And the fact that, didn't they say it was seen forever? Yeah, I think that yeah, you mentioned that what, a few weeks ago that it's permanent. Yeah. Because I think, I think it's so popular. I mean, we're always in a, a fully loaded lobby. Yeah, it doesn't even take that long. What was that, like 20 seconds to put us in a match? Yeah, at least a minute or two at the most. But the, the lobbies are always loaded with other players. Cause, and it doesn't matter if we're doing, like, uh, trios or squads or even solos. Like, I, was, I jumped into the solo lobby because I wanted to see 
how far I got. I mean, I managed to get 16th place. 16th? Nice. Yeah. I got taken out by a tank. Sucked. Nope. I know. But I just can't believe it. Like, for years, I, I refused to go in and play Fortnite. The only time I ever did was uh, to play Air Royale with you. Yeah, that was like three years ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And that was like the only time I ever touched uh, Battle Royale. I mean, Fortnite. That's the closest I ever came. Until but a few weeks ago when you and Kane got really excited about uh, Zero Build Fortnite. And, you know, basically peer pressured me into Because it, it was what we always wanted. We, we always said in 2018 and 2019, if Fortnite didn't have any building, it would be a really good game. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They finally added it. Like what, like three years, four years later, and it's like, yeah. wait, they had a no build? I'm going to jump in there, and guess what? Yeah. Lots of fun. I know. I mean, I'm surprised how much fun I'm having, and plus there's there's a lot of looting, and you know me and looting. Hey, GB loves his looting. I do and love my you, looting. You know, you would think after playing the same game, like, okay, let's jump here, and let's kill people, and then winning. It would get boring. But for some reason, it's like it well, doesn't. That, well, that's why Battle Royals are so popular. I mean, you can go, like, you know, PUBG, a few others prior to Fortnite, even when it was... It, it, people still play the build. I think Tay still plays the build version. Yeah, people people still like the hardcore version, the building version. Yeah, but we like Zero. I don't like the uh, building version. It's so yeah. chaotic. Yeah. I don't have time to build a hotel in five seconds. I got <laughs> too much time in my yeah, life. No, thanks. No. If, if that's still in the game, like, yeah. you know, where it's my only option, I'm not downloading. I'm deleting it. Yeah. Yeah. And then to Epic's credit, they do a fantastic job uh, adding new content and new events and new passes to their games. Like not, a certain someone. Yeah, and like a certain company that we're kind of tired of, to be honest. Yeah. But, yeah, Epic, I mean, they they have Rocket League now that they that they bought and that... I guess they're letting the, the team behind Rocket League. They're just there to support the team, right? Yeah. And, you know, they keep the team that's doing Rocket League still doing what they're doing. And they're constantly adding new vehicles and stuff to it. Honestly, I got to go back to that. Yeah. We, we should go back to Rocket League. Because, yeah, you like and Red two. used to play it all the time. Yeah, it, it, that was like the team. You, yeah. me, Red. Yeah. And I'm guess not... who plays Fortnite the most? Yeah, you, me, Red. You, and... me, Red, and Kane. Yeah. Yeah, but mostly, for the most part, it's like you, me, and Red. Yeah, because uh, Kane lives in the UK, and you know he's not able to join us. Yeah, all the time. time Usually he's asleep whenever we're playing. Yeah, time sounds. And same thing with Yuji. Or else Yuji's working. Yeah. We have to play like really early, like maybe yeah. like two p.m. or something. Oh yeah, like you did on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So in order to get a chance to play with Kane, because it'll be like what, like eight or nine p.m. Yeah. Time. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, yeah we, we gotta go back to Rocket League. We, maybe yeah. uh, it'll we, give us an argument. If, if we get a little bored of Fortnite. Then we may, we may jump into Rocket League. Or if we hear something really cool happening in Rocket League, we might check it out too. Yeah. But I got to give props to Epic because they do a good job, not only with uh, Fortnite, but with Rocket League and with Fall Guys because they now own Fall Guys and they're updating all three of those games. I don't play Fall Guys. I just, it's so boring. Yeah, I played it at first when it came out for free on PlayStation years ago and I, I gave a pretty positive video about it. And I played it with you. Yeah. And I mean, I I personally got tired of playing it, but I know there's a there's a following that loves playing Fall Guys, and that's good. That's awesome. You know, it obviously is not going to make as much money for Epic as say Fortnite or Rocket League, but it probably does well enough for them to where they merit actually having a team dedicated to supporting and updating uh, Fall Guys on a regular basis with right. new seasons. It's a similar formula across the board. You know, from Fortnite, Rocket League to Fall Guys. But, I think you know what the problem is with Fall Guys? What? That they don't have enough stages. Like, it, like you should have, like, at least, like, 40-plus stages. So whenever you play it, it's not the same game. No, they have different, They have different like, games. No, but like whenever... Each, each season, they add new ones. No, I know, but whenever the game came out, when we played it... Well, yeah, early on. It yeah. was, like, you have, like, six games or seven games, and yeah, it was so boring real quick. But they've added way more since then. So, yeah, Maybe that's, we'll go back and play it then. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, Yuji, I think Yuji still likes playing it, but I just, I don't know. One day I just got tired of playing it. Yeah. But it was all right, though. But I, I think I'd rather just play Fortnite. Even though it's, when you look at it, it's like, oh, it's kind of cartoony, but it, it's actually, it's actually a lot of fun. And I think that they do a, good, a really good job for the most part with the quality of life updates and improvements and rebalancing things. Like, yeah. the, the gunplay in Fortnite is, way better than in GTA Online or Red Dead Online. Yeah. And one thing I will say that I love that Epic does 
Is that the wall hat gun and the rail gun? I love those weapons so much. She's being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. But, but they're about to remove them. So they Thank only had you. They only had them in for a week. You know, just because they like to experiment, you know. And yeah, but it, it I feel like the longest week ever. Yeah, but the motivation for me getting in was the, the when they had the lightsabers. Oh yeah, because they had a blaster and the lightsaber. It was still like May the Fourth. Yeah. Uh, event. And, <laughs> yeah. And we know when it comes to Star Wars how much you love it. Hey, the lightsabers were OP though. They were fun to run around slicing up. People Not with. really. The, the more I play with the lightsabers, the more counters I, think, I found for them. Like, I think Kane or somebody mentioned that they may have been nerfed a little bit. Yeah, I, I, because... Where they where they weren't doing as much damage, but they were still no, doing more, more damage, damage than, the, than the harvester no, tools. No, it, it's not damage. It was the amount of damage that you can take. Okay. So, for example, if you shoot somebody, they would okay. just block it, right? Yeah. Well, if you shot somebody enough times... They would be put in the stone lock position. It would be like, whoa. And then you would be like vulnerable for like a split second or two. Oh, okay. So you would be able to take a lot of damage. Okay. So oh. that's what they did. Oh, well, cool. And the rumor is the next pass is going to involve Darth Vader. A- apparently he's going to be the tier rumor. 100 screen. So yeah, there's... good luck grinding. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm what on page, what, seven or eight right now. And I'm just casually playing. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, if you start from because you you join late. Yeah, I joined. A like th- you, I think you joined uh, like two weeks before the season ends. Yeah. Same with me, but I already I'm on level 120. Yeah. <laughs> somehow. I mean, there's a very real possibility that even if I continue playing casually, I might even complete this battle pass before it's yeah. over. So if you do it from the beginning of the next season, you're you're gonna get in, in no problem. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I hope. Hopefully, what other skins are in there? Hopefully, they have something cool. Like, like give me them, like more Naruto skins, or or give you, you me. You said a that's gym. a that's another rumor is that there's Naruto skins coming. Yeah, some Naruto skins okay. apparently that they didn't make, but they might add. Later. Like I think I read something earlier today about it about maybe them adding Team B. Who's Team B? Well, you know, how Team A is Kakashi and Naruto, Sasuke. Yeah, it's Team Sa- Seven. I. Okay, maybe it was Team 8. I don't, I don't remember. Team 8, I think that's Hinata. I think it is. Hinata, okay. Shino, and Kiva. Yeah, I think it's them, yeah. And Kuranai. Yes. Yes, that's what I meant. Not Team B, Team 8. Team A, Team B. I'm not a Naruto expert, okay? You watched like, enough. When I, when I think of Kakashi's team, I think of Team A. And when I think of that team, I think of Team B. But I think that's who the next Naruto bundle might involve all them. Hmm. I, I, I think it's like 7 to 11 or 12. Something like that. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, maybe the the first bundle sold really well, so Epic's like, okay, we're we're up to doing some more Naruto. I just think they should make those characters. I know you said there's like a emote for them, but I think that those characters should always Naruto run because that's kind of their thing. Yeah. So whenever they run, they should do the Naruto thing. Yeah, they should they should do that. Should I they... guess it wouldn't make sense if you're holding a gun. Like, how would you hold a gun like this? <laughs> it would look funny though. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually tempted in the future on my channel. No, not to stream Fortnite, okay? So I want to make that abundantly clear. I'm never going to stream Fortnite on my channel. I will promote Riley's channel, Kane's channel, Red's channel, Yuji's channel if I happen to be playing with them. And they are playing Fortnite. But I am thinking about maybe doing a Fortnite video where I, where I talk more about how much I'm enjoying Fortnite. But you, you could try to go for like the Victoria Royale and solo. Okay, I'm gonna uh, go again. That's not happening. Guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go again. I promise. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not doing that. Yeah. It's more fun to play with 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 trios or squads. You, you know what I think? What? I feel like that's gonna be one of those things that is not gonna age well, and you're gonna stream it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna stream Fortnite. It's not happening. Yeah. No, I'm willing. I'm at the point where I'm willing to make a video about it because I want to also praise Epic for you know actually maintaining online content and keeping it fresh and updating with new cosmetics and new passes and keeping the community going you know for three games rockstar can't even do of two games and one of those games is a huge cash cow for them and yet they do a horrible job even with gta online forget about red dead online i mean they, they don't even really touch red dead online anymore except for these monthly events and maybe if we're lucky, a, a summer Blood Money 2 Capitale Boogaloo, if if we're oh, lucky. Boy. I'm not exactly expecting an update at all from Red Dead Online at this point. They're just keeping it around in order to try and get as many Red Dead Online standalone sales as well as uh, gold bar sales as possible. And that's probably another reason why they're so generously putting Red Dead Online on sale for half off. is so they can try and get some more sales out of Red Dead Online before they 
freaking come out and say, hey, uh, by the way, we're not updating this game anymore. Sorry, it's been a good run, but uh, not sorry. We don't sorry. care, bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, thank you for giving us your money. Yeah, but especially with GT Online, which makes them a ton of money for eight plus years now from copy after copy of GTA Five, now standalone versions of GT Online on the Milk Edition, and with all the shark card sales, you'd think that Rockstar would do a way better job than they currently do. Yeah. Especially because it's their cash cow. Yeah. And what, they update, they, they update the game like twice a month. And it, They don't even, even do that. Well, twice a year you meant. I think yes. It, yeah, you meant twice a year. Twice a year. <laughs> My bad. It's okay. Uh, what else? Uh, apparently they say, oh yeah, we include all this content and all these quality of life. But, Bullshit. But that's the thing. Like, yeah, sure, you can add a thing or two, but... What about the Gamo Speedo? Yeah. What about all the Gamo glitches? What about or exploits or spammers? Like, yeah. For example, this is shit that Epic will remove in like a day or two. Yeah. Like, for example, oh my god, the orbital candidates being used to abuse players. And no, we cannot have that in our game. They'll remove it. Well, I think it's because, don't they use dedicated servers? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay, so that's a big difference because they actually spent money and invested in dedicated servers. On like Rockstar, which is cheap and continues to use peer to peer for both GTA and Red Dead Online. Yeah, it will be like you know this is not fair, you know, to our players. Let's not give them this. Let's just remove it, and let's give everybody like a free token or something uh, for our appreciation for those who actually use the orbital cannon in this day. So here you go, have a token of yeah. uh, of uh, here you played on this day, and it, it'll be rare. Yeah, because you played on this era. You know, something like that. Okay, I gotta get some speed. Yeah. Well, I was actually trying to fly over here because it actually looked cool. It but does look cool, but yeah. I better pick up some speed. Yeah, you might want to. Or else <laughs> you're gonna go slamming into a mountain. Yeah, but see, it does look cool. Cause look at this view. It, it does. I think these are the Rocky Mountains, I believe. It looks so clean. It does, it does. But let me pick up some speed because I'm gonna die. Good idea. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, they should do something because Epic rewards people for, for uh, yeah. rarities. Like, for example, you play during this time, here you go. Have this skin or have this. Okay, no. we removed the thing now. They can't even do their subscription right, they being Rockstar. Because they throw in a smoking jacket from 2016 into GTA Plus. There you go. <laughs> that a lot of us already have. Good yeah. job. I mean, I didn't have it because I played during, I joined in 2017. Well, it's because but... I've been playing too long and long enough to get that exclusive smoking jacket. I think it was back in 2016, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, but a lot, exactly. A lot of people already have that. Yeah. So, you know. But it's it, supposed it's, to be a GTA Plus exclusive. It's supposed to be quote unquote new. Totally worth six bucks a month. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hell, I'd rather buy the Fortnite crew. Yeah. Than buy down. Yeah, I mean, I admittedly at first, and if you go to Kane's Nut Fort video, I, I do say in the background how I won't buy skins because I'm cheap. Half of that statement is true. I am cheap. Well, frugal. You know, I, you know me. I try to spend my money as wisely as possible in order to have some money, right? Why, but, wisely equals Fortnite skin. But I did buy a little bit of. I just been, not much. No, nothing compared to you or Kane. Excuse me. Exactly. D d don't worry, that will not age well either. It's not. Just it's, give it a year or two. Look, I got enough skins now. I, I I have that cool skeleton pirate skin that I like, and I don't know if it's a pirate or a cowboy. May maybe it's a skeleton that wants to be a, a you know pirate and a skeleton. It's a dead and, cat and bane. a cowboy. I don't know. It's a dead cat. Bane I, I like it though. I think it's a cool looking skeleton. And I uh, also got the Obi Wan bundle. Even though Kane said that if I bought it, he wouldn't buy it. But then he's like, no, somebody gifted it to me. Sure. Right. I believe you. <laughs> no, no, he said he, said he what, earned he it. He grinded it on Save the World. Oh, that's right. He mentioned someone gifted him another one. And Tay Daniel did gift me a skin. So the metal, as I call her, the metal girl. It's called the Chronium, I think Yeah, it Chronium, is. yeah. So thanks again, Tay Daniel, for gifting me that. And the only other skin I had was my tryhard free PlayStation skin that I got whenever I played Air Royale with you many years ago. <laughs> yeah. I still have that. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it for Fortnite. Yeah. That's all we've done. But it is crazy, though, because so many other like Rockstar players that I know that are also GTA players, even Red Dead players, are, are talking about Fortnite right now. It's like weird. It's like there's like some sort of like subconscious thing happening. Because they finally had a zero build. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's like a lot of us are like, yeah, no, nah, we're, oh, we're not, the zero build is nonsense. It's stupid. Hell? Oh, it's a puddle. I mean, uh, I'll, it, I'll it, it's called water. Yeah, water. <laughs> anyway, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Sweet. We're going to Yellowstone, baby. It's still Nixie Yellow. 
I wonder if it'll erupt while we're over here. You think the, the caldera is going to... No, we'll, we'll die. We'll literally lie on top of the volcano and we'll wait. See, a lot of people say, like, because we watched... We'll talk about some YouTube videos in a second. But, you know, there's some of those like, hey, you shouldn't live near Yellowstone because the caldera may erupt one day. And, like, well, if it's going to basically end civilization anyways or do some serious damage to humanity, then I think it might be for the best to be as close as possible that way. We'll die faster? Yeah. I don't know. I still don't want to die. I don't want to die either. I want to live as long as I'm meant to live on this on this planet. But at the same time, I mean, it is beautiful over here. So. Yeah, so we, instead of North... Where, where were we? South Dakota? Now we're in Montana. Uh, I think so. We're, we're somewhere, because we can't exactly pull up a map in the This game. is Yellowstone. Yellowstone is in Montana. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're making some good progress. And this is definitely part of the country that we want to live at. And that leads us to another topic we'll bring up is the fact that, as usual, we like to watch YouTube videos and streams. We're not just content creators and streamers. We also watch others. And we've been watching, once again, a lot more uh, best, worst states to live videos on YouTube. And for some reason, we just like this area of the country, like the Dakotas, Wyoming, Montana. I guess it's because we like to go look in nature. Yeah, it just looks beautiful over here. Yeah, like, look at this. Yeah. It is beautiful. Yep, big sky country. So we've been debating for a while now about when we're going to move. We're waiting for the cats and the doggo to pass on. Eventually they will. I mean, Jada, she's 15 years old, and uh, Turtling, he's he's going to be 10 this fall, and the doggo, Edward, you know, they're, they're good pets for the most part. Quote, unquote. Yeah, but, um, yeah, eventually, you know, their time will come. But I guess we just don't really want to haul them halfway across the country so it i guess we're we're trying not to be selfish by just waiting but at the same time we are kind of just sitting here going like you know uh, but yeah can you uh i, I don't want to go there because i do love my pets even though you have kind of like a love hate thing going on oh with them. I, I have like one percent love 99 percent hate oh god relationship with them but you know you know i'm, I'm gonna be sad whenever they pass on but you know if, I've appreciated having them, just like most pet parents do. But eventually, sadly, their their time will come. And I'm I'm surprised, like for a 15 year old cat, how lively Jada still is. I mean, she doesn't come across as a 15 year old cat. Mm. I mean, if push comes to shove, you know, and they keep living, we will be dragging them with us across the country. But right now, we're we're okay with living where we're at for now. Yeah, I like it here. Man, Northwest Louisiana. But we, we are still keeping our watchful eye on other regions of the country that we may end up moving to. But, yeah, so one thing I wanted to talk about really quick before we wrap up is a, a nightmare of sorts when it comes to being a homeowner. When you're a homeowner, some of you may know this, it's uh, constantly uh, having to have work done on your house. It's never-ending process. Little things, big things. It never ends. So about a month or so ago, we started is having issues with our kitchen sink. Like one side would get backed up with a little bit of water. I've been meaning to have the disposal unit replaced for quite some time now. And my uncle, who does a lot of the handyman stuff around the house, right, for me, the contract work. You know, he was trying to put me in contact with a, a really good plumber, but he wasn't able to touch base with the plumber. But over the past few weeks, uh, the kitchen sink situation has gotten a lot worse to where now, even before we uh, start washing dishes in the dishwasher, there's times when water is being backed up in both sides of the sink. And I have to go in with a plunger with Drano and I have to use a freaking like fake, you know, like not fake cup, but like a, you know, like a party cup. Yeah, I can yeah. a disposable like cup. Like those red party cups that people use all the time. Yeah. On, on parties or to watch a movie or something just like gas exactly in order to like dump the water out of the sinks into our our big uh like mop bucket and haul it outside in order to get the water out of the sink so let's just say it's pretty disgusting yeah it's disgusting dirty gray water and it's it's nasty and it's not fun and fortunately uh, my uncle did contact me right before the stream because i sent him like an email because i'm a very patient guy most of you know that but my patient's has been running thin with this situation. And so my uncle was finally able to get in contact with the plumber because apparently there was like a, a phone number issue. Long story. And so just so happens that the uh, plumber had something planned for tomorrow 
but that canceled. So he's coming tomorrow to look at the sink, go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get what he needs, and then he's going to work on the sink tomorrow and rebuild it. So that nightmare is about to come to an end. How do you feel? I I feel like um, I feel um, what's the word? I feel better than I felt a couple days ago because I I was trying to you know have a good weekend. We had a good time playing poker and Reddit online and hanging out, but the sink situation was bumming me out a bit. Low yeah, key. I can see it getting on your nerves. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, it was it wasn't fun. But fortunately, uh, we've just been trying to limit the use of the sink at the moment. And so far, we haven't had an issue yet. Yeah, it's been working, slowly but surely. Yeah, but we just, we had to be very careful about using it. So hopefully tomorrow the plumber will get here. He'll, he's a really good plumber from what my uncle tells me. And hopefully he'll be able to get it rebuilt and it'll be good as new. We'll Maybe, see. But... You know, it's just going to be an all-day affair because we were actually planning on going to watch Top Gun Maverick tomorrow. Plus, I was going to go to the gym tomorrow. So, we've kind of had to postpone both those things in order to, to be here. But, yep. but small price to pay and whatever it ends up costing me out of my uh, checking account. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to get the uh, kitchen nightmare resolved. So, the joys of being a homeowner. Yay. Yay. As, anything else uh, we want to talk about before we wrap up? Is there anything else we're leaving off or... Want to include or not include? I think that's pretty much it. Have we missed anything? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, but, no. Uh, yeah, no. I guess so. I mean, the only thing I'll, I'll, I'll throw in there is my weight loss is going okay. I am covering it on the uh, GB Fang. I'm, I'm throwing lots of stuff on GB Fang. I feel like I am kind of overdoing it. And I did feel kind of a burn factor happen over the weekend, which is glad a good reason why I took Sunday off from streaming. So I had time to, to focus on the kitchen sink and also uh, put work into my LB1 review, as well as Prickcast 4, and, and play some Fortnite. Yeah. But, yeah, I definitely needed to just chill a little bit on Sunday, because I already had two big videos I had to put together. And the Prickcast is going well, so be sure and check out the Prickcast with myself, Red, Kane, UG, and Mike. New episode up, uh, Prickcast 4 is up over on the Prickcast, LB1 Kenobi review. And uh, my weight loss plan series continues over on GB Fang. And uh, I'm down to, I think, 184 Monday. We every, After every workout session, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whenever I do go in, the, John and I, which is my trainer, uh, we go to the weigh machine and we weigh me. And I'm down to like 184. So it's, mm. it's having a positive, like me walking for what, 30 plus days every day for like 20 yeah. minutes a day. It's working. And me readjusting my diet now past few days it's kind of slipped a bit mm. we, we had pizza friday thin crust uh pepperoni for after your appointment because yeah. after your appointment we stopped by and picked up some pizza this really good pizza place we like and then you fix spaghetti over the weekend so we had a few helpings of spaghetti you know for what uh dinner yeah and then sunday sat. spaghetti again yeah we had leftovers because you know why be wasteful right yeah, yeah. And then Monday, you were in the mood for some chicken strips from a burger place that we like. And I obviously got a burger. So. Yeah, you're going to have to walk off those calories. And I've been walking. So there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. How, how were you when you first started? Like 192. 192. Right, when we first started this like over a month ago, when I first made up my mind to start walking every day. Yeah. Readjusting my diet because obviously my health was negative. Yeah. I still have a ways to go, but I'm feeling a bit better now because I've already dropped a few pounds nice yeah and you've been saying that you feel a little more energetic yeah my leg still hurts every now and then i do get a sharp pain in my left leg and my thigh area but I, I don't know what that is it's been happening for the longest time so who knows what that is the point is i've tried everything with the doctors there's apparently nothing wrong with my my, my heart or my chest i've been to all these tests you know they've done ekg they even put like a heart monitor on me for what two weeks oh yeah nothing yeah. except for more money out of my account Oof. and uh you know back in november you know i went and i did the the stress test you know that was like a four-hour deal where i was doing several tests all that came back negative nothing so the only logical answer i could come up with is i'm overweight i gotta lose weight and yeah. i gotta walk and i gotta improve my cardio and over the past month so far so good okay great yeah. So I will continue to periodically uh, update everybody regarding my weight loss series over on GB Fang. 
obviously I'm not making videos revolve around that series every single day. Yeah, no, and it's every once in a while, maybe like two days a week. Yeah, I'm trying to at least one a week. But the problem is it's getting warmer outside, like we were talking about at the beginning of the vlog, when we were in the Dark Star. So it's not that comfortable. Yeah, it becomes less... Because I like to walk around the backyard when I'm recording the vlog, you know, with the doggo. Yeah, and then you start getting sweaty, and it starts getting really yeah. warm and uncomfortable. I, I know the feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's okay to get sweaty, because that's kind of what happens when you're, like, working out with weights or doing cardio, whether it's walking, jogging, or running. That's fine. But because we live in the South, once again, I guess bringing the vlog full circle to the end, it gets very hot and humid here in Louisiana. And I know it gets hot and humid year-round in Puerto Rico, so she, she knows Human. what it's like, yeah. Yeah, in Puerto Rico, I'm always under a, a tree or under a roof because I hate the sun hitting my face. Yeah. I just don't like it. No. And the warm, yeah, I'm always with a fan on. Yeah. I just can't stand being extremely warm. Maybe. So I guess whenever we turn on the AC, it's like a Yeah, like it's a kind blessing. of, it's actually kind of warm right now because we literally have... The uh, Xbox under us. And the gaming PC generating heat. Yeah, so we are getting warm here. So, yeah, another reason why we'll probably be wrapping up our, our vlog very, very soon. And, yeah, so I'm going to keep trying to lose weight. I'm going to keep trying to get her to eat healthier. Good luck. Yeah, I think she's cut back on soda. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it's always a work in progress when it comes to, you know, everybody. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much May 2022. I think we had some people in our lives graduate from high school, so... Yeah, all clap for them hooray mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully I, I wish them all the best in our future endeavors and whatever they wish to do with their life post high school but yeah that's uh, I think that's it for me anything else not really I've, I've pretty much said everything we've done this we've done this month yeah yeah if we left something out well we left something out we, we... yeah I think what we're gonna do or what I'm gonna do is that every time we do something in terms of June I'm just going to write it down because we'll probably forget. We, we've said this before, though. Often. And we've never done it. Yeah, we just... But we, <laughs> we, we will. We will, right? Yeah, we, we keep trying to. But uh, when it comes to Top Gun Maverick, uh, we will do a review of it over on GB Fang because we haven't watched it yet. Hopefully, we'll watch it sometime this week, hopefully. And once we do, we'll sit down. We'll record Top Gun Maverick. It'll probably be very similar to this. You'll fly around in the F-18 as the B-roll and... We'll just talk. And we'll explain. And we'll talk Top Gun Maverick. And we'll do non spoilers and spoilers. A little tease for something for you to look forward to over on GB Fang. Any plans you have over on your channel? Mm. Any streams you're going to be doing? Yes, I'm going to be doing. Uh, my next stream that I'm going to do is uh, Lost and Down. GTA 4 Lost and Down. It won your poll, right? Mm? It yes. Won, yeah. And then after I finish Lost and Damned, I'm going to do Uncharted. Okay, what about the quarry? Weren't you looking into the quarry? Yes, I'm looking into the quarry. This is a bunch of games that I do have. I have the whole Uncharted series, so like one to Lost Legacy. Yeah. Uh, not including Golden Abyss because I don't have a PSP to end. That game sucks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Uncharted. Then we have FNAF. The, the FNAF. Yes, the first one. Yeah, the OG. The OG. And we'll, maybe we'll do FNAF 2 and 3, depending on if you guys want to see it more and more. Yeah. Okay, then we have uh, The Quarry, which will come out soon. Uh, what else? Uh, I guess it's... Uh, the Jay Tony, the Battle of Jay Tony. Yeah. We'll do that later. More Fortnite, uh, probably. More Fortnite, Project Wingman, GTA. Yeah, whenever there's an update. Yeah. I just, I'm not going to touch GTA Red Dead Online, stream-wise. Until a new update comes yeah. out. I'm going to do the same thing, because it's so boring. Yeah, the only exception for Red Dead Online is my... Yeah, I brought back my, my monthly poker series. Yeah. And that's fun because I just can play cards like my grandfather taught me when I was a kid. And I've, I've grown to love poker ever since I was a young lad. And I do like playing poker, especially Texas Hold'em poker. I, I could care less for three-card poker. I don't care how many times you and Pro and the others tell me to come play. I'm not playing with y'all. So, GB. I cannot stand three-card poker. It's an abomination. It's a, it's a bastard child of poker and blackjack. I've... No. So, GB, I got a question. What? When are you going to join us for free card poker? I'm not. You will. I'm not. You all have fun. I'm not playing three card poker. Why are you like this? I'll just go play Texas Hold'em and Red Dead Online once a month. You're just, just a free card poker hater. I am. I, I just can't stand I, you know, I even did it for one of my poker uh, episodes, and that was the last time I'm ever doing that crap. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, oh, I, I, I guess the exception is if poker, if pros like, hey, GB or, or Joe Burns. <laughs> Everyone mispronounces my name, 
But if he's like, hey, uh, if, if I play uh, three card poker with you on your stream, will you do it? I, I guess that'd be the only exception. Wow. You know, him and me playing three card poker and him kicking my ass at three card poker. But that's it. Other than that, I'm just going to stick to monthly Red Dead Online poker. Right. But once again, same thing like updates to GT Online, Red Dead Online, okay, I'll stream those. Other than that, I, I just want to go play something else. And that's why I'd rather go play Zero Build Fortnite. Yeah. Plus, now that they're going to add Darth Vader. Yeah. It gives, it's gonna it, it gives me extra motivation to do the next battle Fortnite. pass. Yeah. If, if it's true. If it's true. If it's not true and you have to buy them in the shop, Gibby will buy them. Yeah. You know you will. Pro you know you will. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, you will. Probably. <laughs> but anyways, I guess that's it for May 2022. And I, I hope May was good for all of you. And I do appreciate all of you that watch our vlogs and check out our other channels. Riley's channel, my gaming channel, GB Fang, the non-gaming channel where I do political stuff and non-gaming stuff like reviews of TV shows, movies. Right. And, uh, of course, the Prickcast. Check out the Prickcast as well. And uh, I guess uh, we'll see you guys in hopefully a month from now, if you don't have any interest in our uh, Top Gun Maverick review later on this week over on GB Fang, our part three review of Obi-Wan Kenobi, also on GB Fang, then we'll probably see you a month from now for the June 2022 vlog. Bye-bye.